Hey inmates, okay, I've been waiting ages for someone to actually bring a GS in with aftermarket Wonderlic crash bars to see whether we can fit my modified mount. Now, something else that I haven't mentioned, going back to the video from ages ago, link up here, where I'm talking about how I modified the adventure bar, we no longer modify it. I'm actually making these from scratch. So these are diamond cut, mild steel, bright zinc plated, so you don't get any rusting at all, and then powder coated. So they're finished off really, really nicely. I've had people buy this to go on this bike with the Wonderlic bars, but I've, I've never actually found out for sure whether it fits. So we're actually gonna find out today whether it fits. Stay tuned to find out if this fits. So far, so good, good. I'm feeling very positive this is gonna work. This is what we've done so far. Right, as you can see, I've got the bike up on the sky lift. If you're new to my channel and you've never seen a lift like this before, please click on the link in the description below and you can buy this from me and we can have it delivered very quickly. So what I've done is, if you're familiar with the Wonderlic bar, because you're obviously watching this video because you've got a GS with aftermarket Wonderlic bars on there, um, I've undone the two um, bolts up here. I've undone these and I've just literally pivoted this down so we've now got access to be able to mount the bar. So now I'm going to mount the bar and then push the push the bar back up and see if it all fits but this obviously has to happen. We have to undo the top bolts here. I haven't, I've taken the covers off down here but I haven't even undone these. They don't need to be undone. But because we're obviously moving, I might have to tweak these a little bit and talk them up at the end. But stay tuned and watch the, uh, the bar go on and let's see if it all works. Right. <laughs> really excited by this. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> it's like so stupid, isn't it? <laughs> oh, right, okay. Please work. So if that yeah, so you're more concerned now if that bar goes back up yeah. it just sits. Yeah, right. So this is it. So the bar is on. So there's no conflict with the support coming from the um you know, on the you know, the back bit on the Wonderlic bar. Obviously, if you're watching this, you've already probably got a Wonderlic bar on your GS. So there's no conflict at all with uh, the light mount at this point. Now we're gonna pivot this back up again, and you're seeing. I'm I'm so excited by this. <laughs> Is it gonna work? It's close. It's really really close. But they're fully married up there. Right, let's get, get on camera. Get it on camera. It's a good one. It works! <laughs> <laughs> right, so it's all put back together again nicely. As you can see, here's the mount fitted really, really nice. Ready for the lights to go on. The customer hasn't decided whether he's going to go for D4s or S4s or D7s. Uh, I think the advice is to go for D4s. And then he's going to have some nice amber. We, at the moment, that's where we're thinking amber indicators and running lights up on his hand guards. So this is official confirmation that the the modified light bar that I do for the GS will fit with SW Motec bars, Purge bars, and Vanderlich bars. Right, it has been a long, long day. <laughs> But we've, we've got this done. And uh, so the customer, because he didn't know what he wanted until we started actually you know, having a look at what would go on the bike. So what the customer's done, he's opted to go for S4s on his Wanderlich bars, and he's gone for the D7s on the modified mount, which obviously only I do. You cannot buy that mount from anywhere else. This is the Adventure mount bar, modified, but it fits the GS just right. Look at how the profile, of how it just sits nicely inside the fairing. And you can see we fit, fitted his K2 camera right there in the middle. And 
And then we've gone ahead and we've put amber DRL lights on the indicators. So we've gone for 20% running lights on the S4s, 10% running lights on the indicators. And obviously when we indicate, we've got the DRLs indicating, light comes back on again when you finish indicating, and then same on this side as well. And then full beam and strobe. Okay, so with the sound bomb, we've used a crash bar horn mount and it's a split sound bomb. So that's the horn part there, you can see in the center of the screen. And then the compressor side of it, we've met, decided to mount that. Just there, if I turn the steering wheel, the handlebar, steering wheel, the handlebar, you can just about see the compressor down here. So if you want this bundle on your GS, that's got Wunderlich bars. Please click on the link down below. It'll take you straight through to that listing. <laughs>